Hey everybody, I'm the Crimson Siphon. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we took care of a shiny red Gyarados in the Lake of Rage. In this episode, we are, well, we were going to head, well, we are going to head back to Mahogany Town, but I want to come in here first. Fishing Guru's house. I don't know if this guy is a born or not, but... Wait a minute. Is we, uh, you could catch light, lively magic up there, but I don't understand what's happening. Well, we will have to uh, figure that out when we get to Mahogany Town. This guy was not here before. Oh, the, the, oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. So there are trainers across the this area here that are new to, uh, well, for us to battle. We're not going to battle them just yet. In fact, I actually want to go back into... Grab a robot. Yeah, we're not going to battle them just yet. We want to deal with what's in Mahogany Town first and foremost. <laughs> because, yeah, it's, it'll be a lot easier for us to deal with that there than, well, what's at the edge of Lake of Rage, I guess you could say. Anyways, heal up. Because we did lose what well, we did uh, faint a few times, or a few Pokemon had fainted. Um, who do I want to have out front? Fuji does need to be uh, leveled up quite a bit, so I want to put him out front. And also, what we're going to deal with now is going to be really low level for what we are at now. I believe, at least for what I'm remembering. So Fuji will be good even here. Oh, Lance, you're already here. Dragonite, Hyper Beam! What took you so long, Crimson? Just as I thought, the strange radio signal is coming from here. <laughs> Moo. Crimson, we should split to check this place. I'll go first. Okay, let's go on in. Got some weird statues. A Persian statue, its eyes are glowing red. You feel that like somebody may be watching. What's this? Woo! Woo! <laughs> hey, intruder alert! We have Team Rocket down here! This is, uh... Yeah, this is the next time we take on Team Rocket. So There's a very surprising round. And as you can see, yeah, they are very low level. Level 17. I don't understand why they've done this. I actually don't know, understand why they decided to have Team Rocket uh, this low leveled. Because realistically, you shouldn't need to go to Mahogany Town until mud, like after you beat Jasmine at least. So, realistically speaking, this whole area is kind of, you know, a bit kind of redundant, if I'm being honest, in terms of the levels. It's not redundant, but it's like, it, in terms of leveling, or level up kind of stuff, it's kind of just... It's really easy. And plus, you can't get to this place until you beat the Gyarados, which is level 30, so... I don't know, maybe they just forgot to, like, put, like, high levels on these guys or something, but... I don't know, it's it's a problem in this game. I feel like mo a lot of Pokemon, uh, not Pokemon games, but like this game in particular, has a very bad habit of leveling, so a very inconsistent level of uh, situation. Though I could be wrong, and like, you know, maybe I'm just forgetting the fact that maybe Team Rocket is like really bad, you know. Well, they are, but you know what I mean. But usually with Team Rocket, they're usually like at least, you know, at this point, they're probably like, you know, 20s to maybe like even early 30s or something. I don't know. But like we've battled so many Pokemon that are above level 30 anyway, so. My turn. There's no escape. And most of our Pokemon are level 30 and above anyways, minus uh, Cosmos and uh, Fuji, so. Hey, you know, I, I don't know, I just... Like I said, it's a good way for Fuji to uh, level up. So, we can have Fuji do that. 
though they don't give much experience, which is a problem. Big problem, in fact. Grimer, okay, I can go for dig on this one. Also, yes, Fuji does have a good moveset against pretty much a lot of Pokemon here, so... I, I mean, look. <laughs> There's a reason why I caught Fuji when I did. Okay, it's mainly for this area, but I... You know, I mean, it was good against Jasmine, so that's good. Rattata, okay. Also, this area is literally mostly battles against Team Rocket and these statues, so... <laughs> it's not like, you know, that building in, uh... In... Oh, gosh, what is it called? Oh! Silphco, that's the one I'm thinking of. But it's not like Silphco where, like, you have a massive amount of, like, trainers all around, so... And also, with every statue, there's at least two battles in this, uh... In terms of, you know... Well, every statue, I mean. Uh, if we go down here, there is a guy down here we want to... Actually, we can avoid him. Oh, we can't avoid you, can we? Alright, that's fine, we can battle you. This one's a ninja hideout. There are traps to, to confound intruders like you. This doesn't look like a ninja hideout, this looks like a rocket hideout, if I'm being honest. I mean, the traps here are literally Persian traps, which are... Which is a Pokemon that's very representative of um, uh, Team Rocket. So, and um, see your point. I mean, it might have been a long time ago. Maybe it was refurbished or something. I don't know. Take out Magnemite. I mean, we know we can take out Magnemite in one hit, even if they were level 30, because of Fuji being an awesome Pokemon, so. Surprisingly, Fuji, I mean, actually not even surprisingly really, Fuji is probably one of the best pseudo-legendaries to even exist, if I'm being honest. This was, like, before, <laughs> before Hydreigon, which actually is probably my least favourite pseudo-legendary, along with Salamence. Um, you know, Hydreigon, Hydreigon, sorry, Hydreigon, <laughs> I've been watch uh, listening to some of the, uh, Nerdcore ciphers recently, so that's something. Anyways, um, no, uh, with uh, Fuji, I, I, Lavata, you know, it's still one of the best pseudo legendaries. This is better than Dragonite, but Dragonite's a decent Pokemon. It's better than, it's better than Salamence, definitely. I'd say Dragonite of Salamence as well. Metagross, I do think, is good. I think it's on par with, uh, well, uh, Fuji's final evolution of Tyranitar. And I think Garchomp's also up there as well. Uh, we have Pactra should be a pseudo-legendary, let's be real. And so should Slacking. I'm just putting that out there. Um, Hydreigon is... It's good, but it levels up so... It evolves so late. It evolves at level 64, at least fully evolves at level 64. And then you have, uh, oh gosh, Gen 6, Gen 6, you have Gudra, which is alright, uh, pseudo legendary, I guess. I mean, it's got a weird way of evolving it. Uh, Gen 7, you have Komo. That could be another one I might be misremembering. Komo's alright. Um, then you have, um, Generation 8 of Dragapult, which is actually really good. I quite like it quite a bit. And then with um, Generation 9, you had uh, Max Calibur, which is like, which is essentially trying to be a, a, a you know, a dragon type version of Tyranitar, I'm being honest, because it literally it looks like Godzilla. But yet, Tyranitar was the first Godzilla Pokemon to exist. I'm going to check these boxes for hidden items. None. Not at all. That is fine. I don't even remember what I got there. What did I get? Did I get a TM or something? That was a powerful blast. Swagger. 
can get berries for that, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. But okay, let's, uh... Hmm. Bit odd, but okay. <laughs> no. I'm so... I'm so vexed on how... Okay. So we could go uh, up this way. Technically, yes. You are able to, you know, get some uh, levels in for this place, but realistically, it's not a great place to level up. And what was I saying earlier? Oh, yeah, it's pseudo legendaries. Um, I mean, okay, here's the thing using a pseudo legendary is fine. I think in a team. This is my personal opinion. I have used the pseudo legendaries before. So, a lot. <laughs> I used Garchomp in literally almost every play for a Platinum I've ever used because, let's face it, you are able to get a Gibble so early on in the game and it's so good. Um, it does fall behind a little bit, you know, at some po certain points, but then when it gets to, like, you know, gets to Sunny Shore or Sunny Side or Sunny. Is it Sunny Shore or Sunny Side? I don't know. Anyways, um. When it gets to that area, you're basically golden because you have a ground type on you, and you know. And since Gabite at that point, or Garchomp, you might have a Garchomp at that point. It is possible. Uh, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna take a lot of hits, and it's gonna be yo know, good against the electric type because it's ground type, and ground types are electric's own, one of the only uh, weaknesses of electric types. Zubat, uh, we'll keep that like. So yeah. I will say this now, getting late pseudo legendaries is a problem. And I, when I mean late, as in, I mean like as in after the 8th gym, because realistically, what's the point? Bagon literally in, in Pokemon Emeralds, or Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald cannot be found until after you beat the final gym, which is pointless. By the way, can I just say that now? I don't like the fact that you can't get one until after the 8th uh, gym, at least. I don't think you can't get it until after that. But, like, you have basically a weak Pokemon on your team for your... Uh, you're basically going to have a Shell gone unless you evolve it to a full Salamence, which if you do, fair enough, but... I don't know if I'd be doing that. And then, what's worse is that Beldum in Emerald is only available after you beat the... well... The, uh, the Elite Four and Champion. And it's not, you don't even catch it. You can literally just, you find it on Steven's table on his house in, um, oh gosh, is it Full Arbor Town? Full Arbor? Full Arbor? I don't know. And then, I mean, Dratinian, uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green, or any Gen 1 games is alright, because it's not, like, too late in the game. It's, like, Six to seven gym, six gym, I think it is. Obviously, uh, Lavata, you know, I got it af just after the uh, actually, no, just before the six gym, so that's quite early. Uh, Gibble in Diamond and Platinum is late, but no, sorry, Diamond and Pearl is late, sorry, but Platinum is super early, as as early as the third, or actually, as the second gym after you beat that, so and also after you beat Team, uh, Team Galactic. Uh, in that game as well after the second gym but I mean like that cycling uh, bridge so that's as, as early as you can get um, Gibble like literally early as you know we are going to be one of your like first you know early team member I guess and it's a good one at that um how late is Dino. Dino is quite late in uh, black and white. It's like uh, Victory Road late, which is bad. And considering for how late it evolves as well, it's as wireless and uh, that is final evolution because you won't get that until much later. Um, so, uh, Gumi is not late, so that's decent. But it has a weird way of evolving, so. There are areas that are, you know, generally, you know, you can just normally have rain in, so that's fine. And then you have, uh, gosh, I'm trying to think, Com uh, Comato, so, 
Is it Como? That's in Gen 7? Yeah, Gen 7 Como. Um, I mean, I guess you can't really find a Jangmo until Last Island. But it's not like too late. Because you do find at high levels, which you can also then evolve it into Hakmo basically straight away. And then Como o is actually not that far away, if I'm not mistaken for it. Or at least the point where you're at in the game. That's something. I actually don't think it's too late, am I being honest? Um, and then, in terms of uh, Dreepy, it's... I mean, it's kind of, it, When you get the, um, the bike and you can go on water with it, it's actually pretty early, if I'm not mistaken. Like, you can get it early. So. And then, in terms of Oh gosh, what is it? <laughs> oh gosh, what is it? Uh, Bat Calibur, you could get it basically whenever if you wanted to. So long as you're, you know, you go to the, um, the snow, like, mountain in the main, uh, in the main game. So, if you go up there, you can find a, uh, a fridge box quite early on if you wanted to, but it's up to you at that point. All this guy has is Rattaz, I'm pretty sure he must have like a rat or something in there, so... Oh boy! Yeah, I have no PP left for that, so... Right, let's go for... Dig. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go for. Let's keep battling out. I mean, but I'm, I'm switching on my words so freaking badly. It's it's the it's the microphone. Is I swear. Okay, no, it's not the microphone. It's me doing it, but it's like nerves, I guess, because I'm still not. I guess I should be used to it by this point of talking into a microphone and talking to. People that aren't even in front of me, so I mean, you guys apparently like enjoy my enjoy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy my commentary at least. That's something I want to, you know. Uh, we don't want to go down that way. That way is a bad way. I mean, technically, you could go around that little path, like those tiles, but some of them do have Pokemon on them. And they are wild Pokemon, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, so you can't catch them. I wouldn't recommend doing that, so... Yeah. yeah let's, uh... Battle these guys. Hey, intruder alert! Okay, Team Rocket Corona has two Pokemon, Drowsy. Ah, we got Payback. Payback. Payback again. Alright. Drowsy is down. Easy. Oh, we don't have a rock slide. Um, you know, I'm going to switch into Cosmos because we are technically close on a level up to Cosmos, so I may as well do that. It's a bubble beam. I know I should be using Surf, but honestly, I'd like to use new moves that I haven't checked, like tried out much often, so. Okay, we got a level up. Level 29. Awesome. Uh, on those tiles as well, you can find Voltorb, you can find Grimer, and I believe Coughing, if I'm not mistaken. I believe also uh, Rattata, so... I believe it's those four Pokemon you can find on those tiles. I could be wrong, though, but... Uh... Okay, let's go for Payback, see how much that does.
Uh, almost. Good thing I'm not fully evolved because that could have been a little bit more than what? Well, two points because if you didn't know, Tyranitar is a rock dark type and dark type Pokemon are weak to bugs, I'm pretty sure. Or bug types. Alright, well, now I have a move for this one, so that's good. Quick Claw is activating a lot. I don't know if it's just me, but that has really been useful. Okay, that's Mud Slap, so I'm weak to that. Mud Slap is a ground type move, so. Okay. Retire. Okay, I can take it out of a dig, that's fine. Focus energy, but that's fine, no mess anyways. No critical hit for you. Nice. Alright. Well, we didn't get a level up from that, but well we did well. Mm, no we didn't, so. That's fine. I mean start oh, Cosmo's got a level up later on. Anyways, let's grab this item. Hyper Potion, nice. I want to heal up with my... Uh, let's go for an elixir. Keep you restored. Let's give it a super potion as well. That would be quite helpful to have. I know I haven't been using the others uh, as much. In fact, I might swap out... Uh, microwave to level him up a bit and then allow the others to level up quite a bit as well but before we do that i think i'm gonna end it off here next time on let's play pokemon heart gold we'll be going through the rest of this well hideout i guess see you guys then